Hey there, brother. This is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men again. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that you're here with me in the barn. I want to talk about one thing in this video, and the title is Why Do You Need to Stop Trying to Fix Your Marriage? And it has to do with that word fix. I know about the word fix. I love the word fix. I love the word problem. I like troubleshooting stuff. I like getting to the bottom of things. I like analyzing things and coming up with solutions. Problems are annoying. Problems are really inconvenient and problems are uncomfortable. We like to get problems out of the way. And guess what? When you treat your marriage, your relationship, your wife, and your sex life as a problem that needs to be fixed, you have this furrowed brow kind of analytical, I'm going to scientific way of approaching things. You're going to try to fix her. You're going to try to fix the way she is. You're going to try to fix the problem so you can feel better. There's a difference between trying to fix a problem with your marriage and your wife and connecting with your marriage and wife. And this is the big difference. Guys who try to fix things all the time are not connecting. It's one thing to fix things at work in the context of your profession or your vocation. Whatever you do to fix things is fine, but those talents that we have for fixing problems, the analysis, the troubleshooting, the dissecting, and all the arguing and, and debating and negotiating and all those problems, those are useless skills. If you're problem solving your wife, problem, problem solving your sex life or your marriage, you're, you're focusing on the wrong thing. And what it's doing is taking your mind and most importantly, your heart away from the thing that she cares about the most. While she sees you trying to fix the problem of her feelings and her upset, her disappointment, her complaints, whatever it is that you see as a problem, while she sees you trying to do that, she sees you being totally disconnected from your heart. And we'll say things like my old one is, well, you shouldn't feel that way. That doesn't make any sense. What you're saying isn't historically accurate, right? I did all that stuff in the past too, where I would try to use my scientific brain to fix a heart problem. We can't do that. You can't fix the problem of a marriage that's going downhill with the same thinking that, that got you there. That's an old Einstein quote. We need a different kind of thinking. It's not remedial thinking or problem solving thinking. The transformational thinking has to be, how do I look at this differently? How do I think about this differently? How should I feel about this differently? How should I regard her differently? This is not a problem. This is an opportunity to connect with her, not to fix her, not to resolve something. So that's what we want to teach you. The good guys to great men methodology is all about getting out of the problem solving mindset and seeing that there's a better question to ask. There's a better way to think about the solution or about how to resolve or get what you want done in the process of being married. It's not about fixing her. It's about fixing your relationship to the problem. Now, when a woman doesn't feel connected with you or feels like you are totally disconnected from your heart, she will resist you. She'll argue with you. She'll disagree with you. She'll push you away. She'll ignore you. She'll do all kinds of things to try to get you to understand that this tactic you have for trying to fix the problem isn't working for her. What she wants to feel is seen and heard and understood, respected, trusted, appreciated. Every word I just said there is what you want too. Those words are the basis of connection. So when she sees you going down some other rat hole of trying to be right or win an argument, she knows your heart is not in the game. So what we want to help you understand is how do you stop all the old behaviors and begin a whole new way of thinking about this. So every time you show up, it is more connecting, more effective. I hope that helps you today, brother. Have a great day. Bye-bye.